since. Skin's warm and dry. Couldn't get an IV going. Cross table and C spine of the neck. We have an event in the picture. Type across two units. Get a head CT. Straight cast. You the father? All right, give me yes. the board. How would this happen? She uh, fell off our balcony. Twenty. How Make far? Twenty-two. How far did she fall? Maybe fifteen feet onto the driveway. Pulse is strong. They got no bowel sounds. Let's get an abdominal CT. Get Benton in here. Lose all extremities to pain. Abdominal soft. Health is stable. Tough day to be a kid. What's that line? We got those x-rays. Neck fin was fine, so we undid the backboard and cervical restraint, and we rolled her over to check it back. Yeah, yeah. And I think you should see for yourself. Mm-hmm. Hey, honey. Son of a bitch. Duh. Dr. Ross! What is that? Duh. Footprint. Dr. Ross! Hi. Thanks for coming. Let me see your foot. Hey, son of a bitch. Oh, no. God, hey. son of a bitch. Screwed up this time, huh? Yeah, you did. Just gonna press charges? I doubt it. I don't think he wants uh, his friends to know that he let a pediatrician beat him up. He's got other problems. A couple of detectives from domestic violence talking to him in the lounge right now. God, it's freezing out here. I won't say I'm sorry, because I'm not. Then don't. So what happens now? I had to tell Morgan Stern what happened. What'd he say? He wasn't very happy. I think you're looking at ink blots, couch time, probably resident review committee. Your friend's still here. What? The brunette. She's waiting for you at admitting. I'm heading home. Tell oh, Rachel happy birthday. It's her birthday, right? Ah. Yeah, I was uh, supposed to be there an hour ago. Jennifer's gonna kill me. Tell her it's my fault. I always do. Right. Yeah. So you see this happen while you were at work? The manager called me. He had the cops and the fire department there. They were all yelling, so I grabbed Byron and I brought him here. The manager? Yeah, we live in a motel, the Harbor View. Although there's no harbor and there's no view. <laughs> Byron set the room on fire. I guess we probably don't live there anymore. Excuse me, Dr. Ross. Uh, and Mrs. Beals? Could you excuse me just for a second? Oh, it's not really Mrs., but that's okay. Uh -huh. Look, I really need to make the afternoon shift or I'm gonna lose my job. Byron will be okay with you, right? I can't leave yet. I have to, or they'll fire me. I'm just gonna have to take Byron with Listen, me. Byron has to still see the child psychiatrist. He's in there with him now. Dr. Ross, please, I really need this gig. Um, yeah, okay, all right, well, um, we'll watch out for Byron. You get back as soon as you can. Thanks. Okay, oh, thank you, Holly. When did you reach Jack Chandler? I haven't. Where's my mom? She'll be back. Probably gym class, right? I, I don't even go to school. I don't have to anymore. Where's my mom? Uh, 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 Dr. Myers, can I see you down the hall? Just yeah. for a second, please. Sure. Fine, we'll be right back, okay, buddy? So this kid is a real mess. Who the hell are you, and what are you doing in there? Psych resident. I'm trying to help this nine-year-old. Yeah, well, this just isn't the kind of case where you can just poach out of the ER. Hey, I was called down here, okay? By who? By whom? By Dr. Weaver, chief resident. Fire department! Just rip it out! Rip it out! Open the door! I got it! Fire 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 it!
Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Come here, let me see. That's okay. Everything's gonna be all right. Where's my mom? You kind of had me scared there for a minute. Where's my mom? We'll get your mom. Where's my mom? It's okay. Where's my mom? Please, don't leave yet. Byron's a very sick little boy. He needs psychiatric help. He could have burned himself up in there. Look, I'll take him to work. He likes that. We'll be okay there. No, listen, okay. Taking him to work is not going to solve any of his problems. Well, neither are you. Look, I really appreciate your help. And I'll do all the follow-up stuff for his hand, but I got a cousin who's going to put us up. And she's waiting out in the car, and she's got a bunch of kids home. So we really do have to go. Come on! 